Hi everyone, this is Edit of Child and we are back with Two Worlds, the epilogue. Now, I can't believe it, I've actually come all the way to Quidnar just to start and see what's what's going on here and uh, I can't find the teleporter stone. And when you look at the positioning, you really feel like there should be one here. Just can't seem to find it. But here's something that happened that really shocked me because I did run up in this area during the original playthrough. But if you bear with me, when we go around this corner to the graveyard, there are two peculiar characters. They actually, they might actually bring weight to the idea that necromancers aren't a hundred percent cool with this place, which up till now I haven't really seen any sign of. So far, every time I've seen a necromancer, he's been jamming up in his own house, pretty close to the town or in the town, and he doesn't really seem to be bugging anybody, and everybody else is cool with him. But these two are acting secretive like, just like necromancers do in every other game. Look there. What they're doing? They're not jamming in the hut. They're, they're, they're actually being secretive. So this is the first time that I've actually seen some credibility to the narrative that the necromancers aren't exactly cool with this place. Look there. Oh, I haven't investigated them yet because... Do you perchance need forbidden wares? You know, I, I could have them. I could have one. My wares can help you much. But use caution. They are forbidden by the Oh, society. this is new. That's really new. I mean, I don't know. They, if, if it is true, if it's really true, and they don't like the necromancers in this game, then they've really done a poor job of showing it, because these necromancers are absolutely jamming. They're running up all over the place. They're freaking. There was one in that town. The the taint is crooked up yeah, there, my I friend. Okay, what what's your prices? Oh, nothing to learn. Okay, let's go explore the town. Let's go explore this town. I barely gave it a chance last time. We've also got this thing. Let me quickly see what's in here. Let's let's do a cave. Let's do a cave. We're doing the smuggler's cave. Who knows what we're gonna find? Let's see. Nice Whoa. Atmosphere. I don't know if I explored this last time. I don't think so. Let's see what we find. Let's see what we find. It feels a bit claustrophobic. Ice mm, skeleton. Nice well, might be a good time to use my axe. Give them a little bit of fire. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Just chop right through them like an axe through an ice skeleton. Okay, well this cave is big enough to have a magic source in it, so... Might actually leak. Whoa! Whoa! What the frick? It might actually lead up to the town. There is an exit. This place might actually lead up into the town. Are you serious? Are those three skeletons the only enemies in this old cave? What's wrong with this place? I should have raided them. I'm so sorry, everybody. Let me just quickly go and clean them up. I have never used this cave before that I know of. Um, or can remember. And I honestly thought that this was going to be a, a bigger challenge. What the heck? It was just a complete wipe. Let's see. Give me all your stuff. Give me a bone marrow. Give me a bone marrow. Give me a bone marrow. And there's no chests, nothing. It's just a clean wipe. Okay. Yeah, but I, I ran through Kudnor just to be a bit. I didn't pick up any quests or anything because I wanted to keep it fresh. So we might as well just do a quick run and see. See what's happening. That's not part of the main quest because, yeah, the main quest, I, I barely looked at the place. We just ran up in there and I gave Quidnors a, a pretty bad rep. Pretty bad name. Didn't like it. Uh, oh. You from the army? Nay. What the heck, bro? Nay. I just arrived here. I've been here for hours. Never wait in the army. But what the heck? Mayhap you could do it? Mayhap forsooth indeed. What's up? I went into my cellar and I saw some burglars down there. Oh heck yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I shall deal with them fear not. Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh, what do you want? Mayhap they needed a hiding place. Okay. Not that I know of. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where's these burglars? Let's let's get them. Wait a minute, where's the active quest underground? Wait, is it This is your house? What the frick? So I basically came up into Lovely this place. dude's quest zone. This is so weird. Hey people. Who's oh, they're, they're not even giving me a chance to talk to them. I mean, okay. Buddy, I, I wanted to talk to you. 
I actually wanted to give you guys a chance to explain yourself. And this is how you repay me. Oh, looks like you still had a friend. Buddy, if what I did to your friends doesn't discourage you, you are one brave man. I'm gonna give you a chance. Okay. This is like dancing. It's like dancing, bro. It's a complete joke. I'm not gonna be clearing out all these dudes. But the question is... Hmm. Ah. The question is, was that enough or are there still any of them alive? I'm not sure. There might be more. I can imagine. This is already 10 of them. That like 50 people ran into this dude's house. That'd be rough. Uh, at least they don't have to deal with the ice skeletons. But let's see, maybe they replaced them. Let's see, are there any of you over here? No! Okay, so that's like 10 burglars. Ran up into this dude's basement. Took his stuff, possibly even kidnapped his pet birds, who knows. Terrible things. We took care of them. Still need to clean the armor and everything. I'm just gonna sell it to the next merchant we see and he's just gonna be like, this stinks. Do you take this off somebody? I'm like, yeah, bro, but what do you matter? Just give me the sweet cash. Okay, let's see what he says. Hmm? You gonna interrupt me like that again? Okay, he's giving me a chance this time. I heard. You really did him in. Aye, they will cause hmm. you no more problems. Ever. Can't believe the door is strong enough to lock in ten people, but goal. it's weak enough that he could actually hear through it. Just saying. Consistency. Thank you, my friend. Okay, so what a what a what way? What a way? We just got a our first little sweet crisp quest just there. Now, I haven't been there as the fog of war will show, so I don't know what's going on in this area. You have something to say. Let's see what he says. Ah, welcome, brother. Brother. Oh, I love it, buddy. I love your style. I wish to see your leader. Ooh. Go inside. Does he have so ah, much to do? Oh man, the Gariza, you say? Buddy, oh man, if I could drop gold at this dude's feet, I would. He's freaking... You're awesome, man. I love him. Brother! That's freaking beautiful. Oh, I thought it was from the Brotherhood. It's from the Gariza. Can I steal from you guys? Would you mind if I stole? I think they'd mind. Uh, so, we got a house and it just... Oh, that's all? I thought it would be bigger. Okay, so we've got Sling, Aki, and Zatagi. Speak. Oh, I like you, you already. People here for a mighty organization like the Giritsa, I mean. I know nothing. Ask Aki for a reason if you need one. So not that badly. Have you long enough? Ah. Oh. Do you wish any? You all seem nervous. Our leader Let's see. Has delayed too long. Uh, no trap. Are there problems with the new people? I like this dude a lot, man. I like his gruffness, his attitude. Yeah! But also, I could break him like a twig if I wanted to, so... It's not like your gruffness is any any threat to me, my bro. I trust Aki too. Who's Aki? Your... We were sure it was his business with the royal guard. Oh man. Me thinks it was not. We I have a feeling I'm linking up to some other quest, but I have no idea. To us these days is worthless. The association has something of it. We okay. need useful information. There are messengers traveling between the association's hmm. post and Tarbuck. Okay. Thinks that is called missing. No, 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 no. Can you believe it? 2006, 2006, the first mention of misinformation. What is that? How is that even possible? That is so. Given the time we're living in now, that is so amazing. I've got enough skill and cunning. Oh yeah, man! I will. Excellent. Okay. They hide their per this sounds man and what do all the other underground organizations have their eyes and how can there are more why can't I get into them as well and reputation okay when the breach you say okay okay thanks bro did I get a quest yes I got a quest okay sorry I tried but these guys are a bit wrong 
Lono told me to keep an eye out for you. Hey, is this the dude I tricked? Yeah, man, you're in my previous thumbnail. And that on one episode, you're crying here. And I need a hunter, a good one too, who can solve our problem for Excellent. What's that? Oh, only task. That's like the rewording, man. Oh, heck yeah. No, man, I should have just taken it. No. You wish me nay, yeah. Malio's toes. Malil's toes. This scar has already killed some good men. You mean mm. Gorilin? Ah, huh? he was active in Talmon for a while oh. as well. Even stole an item of great that was huh. I, And now rumor has it that he is in the south. How far south? He has plans. And whatever How his far south can he be? We're already in Quidnar. I will speak with Ray. Like there's not much to the south. Splendid. Come back when you found something out, anything at all. Four now stones and windbreak isn't south of Quidnar, it's north. If it does happen, we will know it first. And anyway. Okay, so that's basically the orcs wanting to attack. Um I must say the orc towers and camps are very close to the city. Too close in my opinion. They should have pulled them back a bit. They look a bit too close and on edge. Uh, we suspect there are some in the Giritsa who are Oh that's terrible. I, I don't even want to hear more. People in the Garizia that aren't loyal, get out of here. If you want anything, talk. I wish to speak my regrets. Oh. All lower ranked members are. T wow. Okay, just for that, I'm gonna steal. Let's see if I can steal. What's that? Like, you can't speak to me like that and expect that I won't steal your stuff. That's insane. Let's see what he says. If you want it, I wish to speak my regrets. Man, this dude's rude. Can't believe it. I can't reconcile with them, so I decided, eh, let's leave it at that. But they're very rude. Very rude people. Huh? What are you doing? This looks like merchant guild. I can't believe what's going on in this game. This is insane. Like, look at this. There's streets and. Oh, can I jump into the banner? Oh, is this the pool? Is this the place? Is this a yes? Is the lava pool? Man, this is where it all goes down. Freaky. Okay, so this is Goodnar or Goodnar or whatever the place is. Oh yeah, there yeah, I jumped through there. Oh, this is a this is a place now. I gotta say, what's that? Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, it's just a guard. But I completely ignored this place. For the sake of convenience in my original playthrough, just because I was, I was, gonna lie, I was tired. I was tired. I was at my limit. I couldn't take anymore. Oh, get up! I couldn't take anymore. I was just like, why? Why do I keep getting all these tasks? And then I, I just, I seem like, like it's all over because nothing can even scratch me anymore. So. So I gotta admit, I gave this this whole city the shaft. I just said, "Bah, get out of here!" Now I'm giving it another chance. We're doing the the epilogue. We found the albino dragon. We found the desert, which we freak <laughs> we completely <laughs> ignored that place. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're making a change. We're seeing some cool stuff. Let's see if this place also has. Oh yeah. Finally, the teleporter. That's what I was looking for. I was so sure there had to be a teleporter, but I just couldn't find it. What's this poor dude can't leave? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is perhaps the cruelest joke of all. This dude was a far forty-one. He can't get off here. Who made this cruel device? Look at that. I'm so sorry, Tan. The developers forgot to give him a staircase. I think, or this is purposefully a cruel joke. Maybe the whole team was just like, let's make one NPC that can't get off his podium. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, Welcome. I'm curious. I'm curious. There's some funky blips and blobs you sometimes see. And really makes you think. I can't wait for Tools 2. Ooh, well, to play Tools 2. It's been out for 10 years. Uh, ooh, that's another one. Boink. Uh, so, because I, I like catching up on this stuff. 41. We're almost filled up with Gromkara. I mean, that means 
at least from an offensive side, barring the, the dagger, which is rarely used, um, spell booster, which one's that? Point increases the power level of spells. Wait a minute, 27? What's that? 27, oh, that, that does nothing. 25, it barely does anything. 22.5, the mana... Wait a minute, did, did that help at all? Let's just see if I take all my power-ups off. Oh my goodness, the power-ups did nothing. The power-ups literally did nothing. It's just the fact that I have 15 heals. Oh my goodness, and I'm full on, on the restoration magic branch. That is crazy. That means it's, it does a, it's got nothing to do with the power-ups whatsoever. It's pure, if you max out your A magic, my goodness, then 15 heals and you heal yourself up. Good day. I did not suspect that. That is insane. This this is that's that is that a break? Is this is the game broken? Because that's that's unbelievably easy. If you consider that, if you consider, I mean, potions and all sorts of stuff, you don't need any of that. All you need is to get a bunch of those cards together and have your heal maxed out and that's it. Oh, I did not expect that. Well, I'll keep on rolling. Let's see what we can do. I don't know what, what that quest might mean for us. Find merchants and... Oh, find the five... Oh, that's him. These are the three catapult triggers. This is somebody called the flame, but we are not going to complain. Stalk needs information. I don't even know. Sered from Skeleton has offered me a bounty. What's this? Coven Gorta. Oh! Man, I'm so used to looking on this side of the map. I'm completely... I've completely forgotten that. What's this? Skeleton wants you to attack the house. I'm still busy with the Skeleton and Karga. Because that's part of my... Uh, epilogue is finalizing that one, but man, I still want to do it Cargo's way, that's why. Let me just see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just see something about this river. I wonder if my dude can, oh wait, I'm wearing plate armor. Okay, pardon me, I just saved there because I'm a bit curious about this. Let's take off your armor, my friend, and let's just go. Whee! I didn't expect that. Well, that was interesting. Why would that happen? Maybe I'm too used to stuff like Minecraft. Where this doesn't happen. Because usually when you land in water, you're still okay. That was a big surprise. He just completely went out. I wonder if I actually wore my plate armor because that stops you from... Um, Swimming if I would have actually survived. That's something else. Oh well. Let's get to it. Let's get to those quests. Get to it. Get some grinding. And clear up a bit more of this map. Just look at that. We've cleared up a big piece. Gonna get there. Gonna get there in no time. People, I can't believe what we've just stumbled upon here. Um, <coughs> oh really, I can't believe it. We're here to the south of this place. So there's Windbreak Village, and down there was the Valley of Barrows where we talked to Whitehead. You won't believe it. I have found the result of the battle between Whitehead and the, the funky captain from the army. Now here's a giant spider. And I fought this thing, and I just learned because it was weird what I saw. But I saw these two mounds next to it, and then I realized, wait a minute, these aren't mounds. Look at this. Look at that. It's the captain and it's Whitehead. And you can be like, oh, 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 how do we know, how do we know? Well, well, let me just fix this up. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I can't believe what I found. I'm just going to clear my inventory because <clears throat> this was something that I was quite surprised by. This is, I must say, a, a pleasant bit of closure. Because if I recall correctly, I thought the captain had won because I couldn't find Whitehead back in the cave. And the orcs were mad at me. But they should have been chill, you know. They should have been cool. That's what Whitehead said, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's 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 get them. Let's get them. Let's sell all the stuff. I found some scapulari, which is nice. Uh, back down there at the beach, so I haven't decimated their numbers completely. There's still a few of them clinging on. 
There's not many. Just clearing out. Got a pretty large piece of the map. We are getting to completely clearing the whole map north of the river. Which is a good mark to have. Uh, let's see. So. Okay, I won't be bothered too much. Oh, there we go. I was just gonna see what the local merchants on hand. There we go. Upgrade some more stuff. We're gonna max this dude out soon. Hey, He's just, everything's just gonna be class 50 at this rate. Almost got that away from me. Yeah, so let's take a look. Okay. So yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'll show you what's happening. This thing's almost at class 50. 43. So we've almost maxed out all our, our offensive weapons. We're getting to maxing out some of the uh, the lesser armor pieces. But this plate piece is taking quite long. This thing's only at class 7. So it's real difficult to find replacement or upgrading pieces for this. So let me show you. You might think now, hey man, how do we know this is... This could be anybody. Well, if you actually oh, click on him, this is how I saw. Because I just looted them and then I saw, wait a minute. Look at that name. It's the captain and he left me some more gold. Mm. And then if you look at this one. Aha. White dead. Now these two will probably stay here because quest related uh, well, corpses stay from what I've seen behind. This is an amazing find. I never expected to find them. I thought there was a an unresolved quest uh, quest line. So that's real cool. I don't know if they were like dumped here, just as some game mechanic or something, or if this is actually part of the plot. Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Just look at this. This has got nothing to do with the story. Let me actually see. Let me just take care of these three. Is this maybe like exactly in the middle? Because he said he knew where, but. Uh, or something like that. Uh, so there's that. There's that. That's uh, sort of in the middle. Not really, but sort of. It's a really odd development. I would never have expected something like. Oh, whoopsie! Ghost life of a few seconds. That's rough. So yeah, um, we've solved. At least it doesn't affect the quest. But we we got a little bit of closure there. So that's good stuff. We know. We know the fate. Which isn't as positive for the captain as I thought. I thought he'd survive. Seems they took each other out. I'm just glad I saw it. Because the only reason I saw it was when I looted him. Uh, I was curious as to what it was. And then I saw his name and I was like, oh, that's why I did. Oh, okay, so. So yeah, that wraps up a little bit there. But yeah, we. This is why. I mean, you clear this map. This has got no link to the quest. At least the dragon fight had some link to the quest, but this one is completely random. And yet, here we are. We found out something new. Where's all my teleporters? I've only got. For some reason, I've only got one teleport stone with me. Did I leave one at the bottom? Oh, that's the cave mission. For some reason, I'm missing two teleporter stones. I know where one of them is. One of them is there. Where is it again? Down here at the Blighted City or whatever. But the other one I can't find. For some reason, I felt like I left there somewhere, but I don't know. I just don't know. I just hope I haven't lost it permanently or something. I don't think you can. That's real freaky. So yeah, let's let's keep going. Let's see what there is to find. Oh, we're gonna see what there is to find. Oh, on the top of the mountain. Can you believe it? Oh, so look at this. We actually managed to get up here from this teleporter and this teleporter and cut through this fog of war all the way up here. And here's the thing that makes it so special. This is all just unrendered terrain or un, un sculpted terrain. Look at that. There's a Malil shrine up here. That's interesting. I actually pause it here because I'm so sure something special is gonna happen here. I mean who why would they put a Malil shrine in the middle of nothing? Look there. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's all just cliff. 
There's gotta be something special here if they put a Malil shrine. Yep. I mean, look, they haven't even rendered in vegetation yet. It's so untouched this area. All the way at the edge of the map. I didn't even know I could access this. It took quite a few runs up the mountainside. Yeah, so we're all the way up here in the north. It's amazing. Um, I'm actually a bit disappointed. I really thought there might be some sort of a cyclops or something. Just something, because... Look there, it's just a sheer drop, basically. This is as high as we can go. I think I actually went down a little to get to this point. But yeah, we, we are pr pretty high up. We are significantly further into the mountains than I thought we could go. I didn't think I'd be able to make it here. Let me see, I think I might actually run to the top of the map. Not well, uh, north, north, most point. Look, let's see. Yeah, this is just like a plateau. So that's the last rendered trees over there. Everything else here is just texture. It's just big lumps of texture and landscape shape. Can't see anything. Bad time for the fog to roll in. We'll just keep going north. The slopes look... Oh, there we go. Somebody put in some grass over here. But this is just... Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, 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 no! Oh. If I if I go down too far, I might not be able to come back up. And if that happens, then I have to go all the way down again. I can still climb that. I can still hear nature sounds up here. What the heck? Pretty sure almost at the northernmost part of the map. Here's some grass again. So there's a. There we go, people. So this is a super, there you go, so that's the northern part, there you go, that's the line. This is the northernmost part of this whole map. What will happen if I go down here? This is, there's the Karga camp, so what on earth will I find here? A little bit of render, oh, I'm still going, oh, uh oh. Um, this is, this has to be some, I'm sorry everybody, I think I'm gonna have to load. I'm sorry about that, but you saw that, that was just a catch. Let's see. You got me caught in there, so, yeah, so I was wrong, I didn't think I could get into these mountains, it takes a little bit of effort, but you can, it's not that there is anything here. But yeah, as usual, I'm just like fascinated by how they left the map, What's what condition the map is in for us to explore. Let me try and get over there again. Come on! Because mm. I've, I've caught quite a few of these, but I haven't gone up here. Let's run. Okay, so this time we'll just make it a bit faster. I'll avoid that dip and I'll see, because I'd like to see if we can get to the Karga camp. I think we went over here. I'll just avoid that dip. I was, I did wonder if that could happen, so they made a few traps. I mean, it's not like I can just, well, off myself so I can actually get back. Uh, I'd either need to use a teleport stone, which I'd never ever get back, or be stuck there forever, be doomed, mercenary. Can you imagine, cause of death, I got waged in between the limits of the map and a cliff, and I was stuck there forever. Okay, so there we go. There's the dip. I dodge that dip, where's that dip? I won't fall for that tree again. You won't trick me again. Stay away. See that tree. Yeah, this is a death trap. Because I could still get trapped in some sort of a pit or just a larger crater of this mountain range and not be able to get out. So I'm going to actually just avoid this whole thing. I'm going to see if I can get up to this peak again and then I'm going to head off to the Karga camp. There's literally nothing. This is this is a vanity project, I'd say. 
all I'm doing is I'm trying to expose as much of this map as I possibly can. This I, this didn't this wasn't easy. Clearing this up, it took a, a few runs up through the mountains and just looking. You got a few spots, got some grizzly bears, got some wolves. It's it's really weird. You get these huge swaths of of this unrendered or untextured terrain essentially just blocks and blocks of this and then you get these patches of vegetation and animals and herbs especially like useful herbs like saffron and centaurium and that stuff that looks like a trap that looks like a crater trap problem is I can't get up here oh that's my oh man so that's all the way back there and so the problem is we can let me see I can at least climb this one this is gentle but I can see I can already see the slope there's no getting over this yeah that's this is a trap just to fall down to that crater uh. the mysteries of the two worlds map well, the mysteries just climbing up a mountain but maybe I can actually just connect that up let me see no, this is tedious. I just I like getting clarity, and that Malil shrine really surprised me. Especially that it's got nothing around it. Like whose idea was that? Whose idea was it to make a little patch all the way up here, pretty much inaccessible to anybody that wasn't willing to really try, and then put a Malil shrine there to make you really think. Ah, oh, I found something. It's like no, you didn't. No, you didn't find anything. Oh, please, don't don't be another trap. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. There's still a long way to go. West to reach the sea. And we're going very far down very fast. Without reaching the coastline. Oh, wait, I see the, I see the hatch. I see the fog of war on the map. Okay, we're getting to the coastline. Let me try and run north. Maybe we're just very far up. I'm underestimating how far down we have to go to reach the coast. There we go! Okay! So we're gonna zip this up. So, oh. Thank goodness I can heal while falling down a cliff. Essentially. This game doesn't really have many sheer falls. Like, look there. Even this fall is basically is happening at a gradient. A steep one, but still. It's no... Oh. I think the only sheer fall was that type like I did with the bridge. I just jumped straight off. Okay, this is where we were before. Okay, so that was very, very unproductive. Sorry about that. It doesn't seem to have yielded much, but that's an idea of what this whole block up here is essentially. It's just untextured mountains, just heaps of landscape. I can't think of a game where that is the case, actually. Sorry, I, I'm trying to think back. Uh, I can't remember what Gothic 3 had with landscape. As far as I can remember, most of it was... You had mountains going over, tunnels under the mountains. You had a lot of... Everything was used in some way, most of the time. And you had Oblivion, which... I can't recall. I mean, even the, the mountains up with the trolls... Uh, I think it was to the to the east of it's not Cheyendal. It's like, what what was the northernmost one? Bruma. I think it was Bruma. Yeah, there were some tall mountains there, but even they were accessible. You just had to jump really well and get to the trolls. What I really liked about it was that northern part of the map was Nord architecture, so you could actually see little pieces of Skyrim already placed there. Uh, not not the Skyrim map itself, but just the architectural elements, those packed stones and sort of diamond shape, if I call correctly in the middle. That was real cool. That was real cool. When I saw that I was like, oh I can't believe it. And it shows you it it shows you they had an idea of what they were looking for. The fact that what was the time difference between those two games? Five years or so? The fact that they already had the architectural elements for the next one in mind is um, impressive although that being said it's already built on three other games with 
the first three Elder Scrolls or the other only three, wasn't it? Elder Scrolls one, two, and Morrowind, and then Oblivion. I don't know if there's additional ones. There probably are that I don't know of. Now this area was actually a nice cave when we came up here. This was when I made my first trek into the desert today to the south. But what I didn't realize was if you go up this path, this is very interesting. Once again, it's it's a real. I should go down that path sometime. It's a real sad, like hidden treasure, in a sense. Because look at this. Now, one one thing I gotta say is, look at this transition. It is an immediate transition to desert, like on this line. Whoop, sad. So very, uh, the biomes made a very, very, very fast transition in this game. As I said, even Minecraft has slower mi uh, biome transition than this. This is just solid. Hits it like a brick. Now there was a nice pathway here where you actually meet some Varns, as the ghosts will testify. Already took care of them. Ah, very interesting. But the interesting part is, uh, no camps. Would have been cool if there was a camp here, just to get you into that feel. There's a few groups of Varns, but a, a proper camp would have really gotten the, the feels in for, for the Varns. I like the Varns, they're a lot of fun. But yeah, so you go down this road, there was a, a few scorpions. Man, there's no, there's no shrubs, there's a rock or two. Not a lot of texture. Gotta say. <laughs> I mean, even comparing this to a game like Gothic 2, for example, which is much older, it had a lot more texture than this. Granted, it was older, but still, it had more bushes, more leaves and stuff, more trees. This is very barren, it's very empty. Even the sand is just a hard texture. It's difficult, it's difficult. You see, it's like, ah, it really grinds the mind. Yeah, I just took a quick teleport stone here. Now here is a dungeon. Just another example. What's that? So this is apparently because I'm clearing all the dungeons to finish this this map. All the dungeons, all the tunnels, all the I'm robbing all the towns, opening every chest and door and everything. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm not pickpocketing every person. That's what, I'm not going to do that. Uh, clearing all the caves. So doing a bunch of stuff like that. This is this was a mummy. And one of the things is clearing the caves and dungeons. But now take a look at this. Skeleton ghost. Well, because obviously. Uh, take a look at this. Why are there so many ghosts? Oh yeah. So when you go down here. Now the caves in this game are very flat. They're big. Like look how large this is. But you can see just a repeat of the same columns constantly. So it's, it's very... It's very monotone, and once again, it makes you wonder: What was this? What is this? Is this? Is there something to this? Is there a story? It's hey, this dude's alive. He wasn't alive last time. This is new. This is brand new. He was because here's what this dude was out. Everybody, this is new. This dude wasn't alive last time, or he was hiding somewhere. I couldn't see him. What the heck? Let's see. I'm as surprised as you are. Let me just see if I can talk to him. What? Because last time I found this guy. This is why I chose to video this. Whoever this dude is. Um, and then this dude. What on earth are they doing in the middle of this tomb? I have a feeling this is a quest that somehow went wrong. So I'm going to be clearing this cave at some point, but he wasn't alive. If he was, he was hiding very well, because I have no idea. I didn't see anybody move. Makes me feel I could have saved this one lying here. I'll never know. Because, yeah, there's wooden shields and stuff lying around. That really surprised me, seeing somebody alive here. But, once again, why? I can't talk to him. I can't find anything out about him. Uh, I don't understand what the goal was behind him. Hey, I thought I... Oh yeah, those two were... I think I know what's going on here. When I came into this cave the first time, there were a few skeletons stuck in the wall. I think something must have gone wrong with the render that fixed itself now that I'm here the second time. So, 
apologies. Uh, uh, still, this is the problem with these dungeons. Look how flat this is. This is so flat, it would, you know, it would make a tile look knobbly. It's very straightforward, very winding, and everything. And you know, it's some. So it's like somebody just threw down a few closets. And, okay, this is chased. Wow. I don't know. I don't mean to be mean. It's not that I want to be mean or something, but there's a monotony to it that really speaks of lack of completion. Sort of. Let's see what this means, because here's a sarcophagus up here. I have no idea what this is about. Let's see if this... Nope. There's not something like that. It's not something that gets lit by fire. No. So, this is another thing. Like, what is this for? Why is there a sarcophagus here? Why does it have a lantern? Why is there a statue there? Why can't I do anything with it? Why is there somebody alive in that corner and why did he have a friend that was well taken care of prior to me arriving there stuff like that that really 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 confuses me in this game not so much you know that it it's just why was it done that way because I don't feel a need for closure shall I say with whatever characters are in this mine like it would be nice but there's no quest attached to them that I know of. I've been to all the desert settlements, so I have no idea. Uh, so here I am, and I don't know what to say, really. Story-wise, I mean, and look at this. This is a, clearly a chest, but I can't interact with it. So, it is something that really has my head scratching. And... In Oblivion, oh, I keep bringing this up, but Oblivion you could interact with items, and if you say, ah, oh, stop, stop mentioning Oblivion. Well, in Gothic 3, which came out in this time too, you could also interact with various things. Maybe you could sweep, if I recall, you could drink water, you could do a bunch of stuff. Uh, that was kind of fun. So, there's a lack of interaction with the world that really gets you. It's sort of it's heartbreaking in a in sense because this game does stand out by its own. Its armor sets are unique. Its fighting mechanism does appear pretty unique, uh, but it sort of made itself so generic. It almost has no identity. That's a really the sad thing about it. Still can't speak to it, can I? Can't speak to this dude at all. He's healing. Maybe in another opportunity he'll come around and talk to me. But now it looks like he's just going to be silent. I re if, if I lost the quest because this dude because this dude was down before I even came down here, so I have no idea. That would be quite frustrating. I'll give you an idea of my progress. Look at this. So I ran through, I cleared up all of this. Everything north of Cloverly is pretty much done with the exception of this little block here. Then these little sweeps here. And that segment there. Then I've pretty much cleared everything north of the river gone. Including tunnels, uh, stealing everything in the chests of towns. I've cleared Comoran, I've cleared uh, Rovant, I've cleared a bunch of the small villages. I've done nothing to Tarbakin yet. I tried once and I ended up taking out the whole city almost because everybody in the city attacks you and they're way weaker so it's kind of sad actually. So yeah, I might make a separate video of that just to show you what the end result of all this grinding is because you become untouchable. You literally slice these guards apart like a joke. It is a bit sad. So yeah, this. It's something I gotta say. I mean, this game was made 17 years ago, I think. So it's not like I could change anything about it, but it really fell short. Sadly, not to be mean, it just it just fell short. That's a sad thing. It's like the mark wasn't there. It almost makes you think, cause this came out sort of 
just after the Lord of the Rings came out, which put freaking it put the epic genre on a turbo charge. Like when Lord of the Rings came out, they came out Chronicles of Narnia, they came out all these epic movies. Everybody was just jumping on the bandwagon like crazy. And this game almost seems like it's part of that bandwagon. Because you look at the map and you look at the names and the stuff, it's like you know, the cliffs of Felpito and Anaphalas' mansion and all it's and the Ridge of Baradur or stuff. If I mention any actual names it's not my intention. <laughs> but you know, it's like these names are just three syllable words put together. Tarbakin and Talmont and <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like it's put there for the sake of being there, but it never really gets into its own. It really saddens me. The piracy is probably the best opportunity they have. Like, if you ever want to make something stand out, do pirates, but do them uniquely. That's freaking awesome. I love pirates. I can't, I can't begin to describe how much I freaking love pirates. Pirates always make a game more fun. Good day. And just the funnest things on earth. Uh, I have no idea why. I think it's just the idea of my freedoms. My freedoms on the sea. They're awesome. And at least this game has a little piece of the pirates in there. But yeah. I really need to get that DLC. With tools 2 going. As soon as I clear this game. It'll be awesome. That and a few other things. <laughs> I am really. Uh, let me show you. My dagger is full class. So all my offensive weapons are now full on. My quiver is 36. The armor sets are taking a very long time because they're very unique. And they've already got a whole bunch of enchantments on them, so they can't really combine with anything. Uh, anything random. You seek something, perchance. But yeah, this dude's untouchable. I've, I think I've said and shown that many times, and many times again. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll keep going, keep clearing it out. Because there are definitely more quests, a lot more stuff to do. Uh, you know what? Because I've got you, because we're, we're putting in a little bit of time here, let's... I'm gonna leave my teleporter there, so I actually have a reason to go back. And I'm gonna try and fix a quest. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There was something that I had an idea about. Uh, it's not this one. Oh, wait. Let's see. Did I did told Gorilin. I don't want to be in Gorilin. Uh, you have also been told. Yes, I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, work with Harold Stork needs fresh information. Really dog section, I couldn't find that. Huh. Okay. What did I miss? Isn't there something with this? The dangerous rebel. Okay, I know what that one is. Test of loyalty. You can. Oh, yeah. Spy. Skeleton. Yes. That one. Delicate issue. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna be fixing that. That's uh, stuff. <sighs> it's not this one. No, I want. I want to do is I want to get rid of this dwarven contraption. <laughs> Just gonna use that up. Dwarven contraption, and there's something else in here. These two keys, but I don't know what to do with them. That's a quest item. That's my teleporter stone. All I know is this dwarven contraption. When I got to four stones, the game said, "Oh, it's all good." That's all I know. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix this. This is. You see, once again, what? What's the deal with this thing? What's the deal? Oh, they. F oh, there's four stones. Okay, so oh, okay, I see. Wish there was more elaboration on that, so they can really make it its own. Because all they've done is show me, okay, there's four stones. Interesting. Now what? 
Er, uh, let's see what you have to say. Nothing. You are... Oh, that's real cool. There's nothing in... This is the most humble house on earth. It's got two stories. A story we don't even need. Talk about luxury. Absolutely nothing in here. So... Wow, that brings waste of space a whole new meaning. Centurium in a look. city! In a village, that's awesome! Okay. Let's see, let's see. How are you doing? How could you do this? Okay, fine. He's still upset about me doing cool things. Yes. You want something? Oh. Oh, what's this? You have mistaken me for someone else. You waste my time. A serious error. The last I wonder what quest make. this is. It's it looks like we've unlocked a quest. Good day to you. Whoa. Okay. Let's take this outside. Whoa, you see that sidestep? That was fast. Come. We're gonna take this outside, bro. I'm not gonna take you down in the city. Buddy, did you hear him? He had the audacity to tell me what to do with my weapon. This is a free kingdom, ain't it? Oh. Ah, what is the shard? I have no idea, but I solved it. Interesting. Okay, so this is... And you saw me. I even looked in my quest log. I couldn't find anything really. And yet, yet, there was still a quest that I could find. Real interesting. Okay, so at least we did a quest. I'm, I'm glad about that. I'm real glad about that. But oh, oh. Man, when will I get my stuff? Okay, so let's go see. Who do I talk to about the shard? Apparently I did something good. Uh, Gariza, Gariza. So are they even there anymore? I don't even know. Uh, looks like that's less. I think. I can't remember. All I know is I've solved a quest called the shard. Quite easily. Just talked to him and then I smacked him. It could either be the people jamming over here, it could be the people in like Corlin, I don't know. <sighs> I have no idea. Let's take a walk around Corlin, let's just see what they say. If I got the quest from somebody there. You just never know. Let's talk to this to mate. Mate. Move along. Okay, fine. So you're not the quest giver. Come on. Her. This dude's the money you Look at that. Don't need any more of that. Fully upgraded dagger. Beautiful. Okay, so ah, well nothing met. to see Good here. Day. Nobody to talk oh, to. Uh, ooh, poison shot. Oh, poison gem. I did clear this village as well. Oh. Well, they watch you too. Try to oh. sleep. It will. You were right. Okay, no quest there. What a waste. Let's see, can't talk to him. Can sell me something. Uh, oh! Hey, seven! Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're sort of just running around. What's that? Clearing the villages of all nice the, the livestock they have. Wow. For some reason, the first sack wouldn't do it. Okay. That dude's done, this dude's done. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so we still have no idea who gave us that quest. I still have nobody I can sell the dwarven contraption to. Who do I sell the thing to? Who do I give it to? It's just sitting in my inventory. This, I'm really confused about it. I don't think it's so much about the map. I think it's, it's more about... Let's see. Oh, they're far north. Whoops. That's a whoopsie. Got that completely wrong. <sighs> it's more about the quest actually making sense. I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. But when I played, uh, ooh, when I played other games, I, I sort of get what I was doing. Here we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the. Let's find that 
tavern. It's a big house here somewhere. In the middle of nowhere. Massive house. Got a stone bottom story. Got nice wood stories up here. Can the doors open? It doesn't even have doors. Stork! Oh. Huh. This thing? What does it do? I have no idea. It doesn't even work. Who knows? Are you disappointed? Nay, but tis a surprise. Strange indeed. Anyway, you have accomplished your task. I'll tell my superiors of this. Before I forget, you said information and money is what you need. Here, this'll help, perchance. You mean money? Tabakin and the... Why do you stay... I try to be where the action is. Revolt? Huh. Aye, but they close their book. Oh, okay, so that old tale about the dwarves. Here we go. Shadows over the family. I don't know what I saw. Have you learned anything? I did. You know what they found? The miner told me that the guards carried out several closed chests. A caravan oh, was that part of the quest? I don't even took know. Took it to Catalan on the same day. All the miners who worked on the site on that day were also taken away. I had no idea ah, I actually saw this. You have indeed helped us, friend. Wow. My, uh, he is so I know. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> I can't believe I, I I basically had the ability to solve those quests for so long. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay, okay, let's let's take a look. So I am full rep with everybody except for Skilden, which I thought I was, but apparently I'm not. Karga uh, Clan and Merchant's Guild. I'm even full of Gariza. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is my stuff. 60. Th that is actually quite low considering how much of the map I've covered. So I'm a bit surprised by that. Quite low on thefts. Do I even. Oh, there we go. 6,000. Look at that. What a number. Look at that distance. You got a oh, meters. Distance ridden. Distance on foot. 589 kilometers. <laughs> jumps. Black jumps. Okay, I think at least we made a bit of a dent on our quest load. So everything here at the tavern's done. That's nice. But yeah, we'll continue and, and see where we get to. Yeah, I'll think I'll call it this for now because uh, it's getting cumbersome. I like to put in checkpoints on these. Just so we follow the, the, the progress. So yeah. Make this an episode and I'll see you in the next one. This one Edward Child with the tools epilogue. Slowly solving everything. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.